Importance is 
more or less clear. The more natural interfaces the information grows, we need improved method to manage this information. And uh, systems that can continuously improve themselves using this continuous graph. This was the first point. The second point is the open sharing of data, implementations and results. So what are the challenges here? To build a platform for reusing these resources for different purposes. So to have resources for whatever purpose in one platform. To manage uh, proprietariness issues for various sources like formats, everything, uh, licenses and so on. What are the skills, software engineering mainly to make this possible. And the benefit is if we want to develop cross-linguistic applications, we can find the resource we need, we can access it, we can interface to it, and this is not a trivial thing. And uh, if this open sharing of data is available, only then we can have a comparative evaluation among several publications, languages, and so on. And this is necessary to see what is the quality of the work and how can we improve it. Yes. Increase the quality. And uh, ah, yes. uh, third, yeah, creating better methodology for broad coverage. Um, we want to get good quality data with less human resources. Um, one challenge here is how to interest people in doing this annotation task, how to clean up data that was collected in a less controlled way. So if we annotate data by non-experts, we need to clean it up. Even with experts, they don't agree on this, so this is an issue. And we need to have representative data. And one thing is to carry over from one language to another one, to exploit similarities between languages to be separate. The expertise, like in most of these gaps, is multidisciplinary. And actually there is a last gap, where are four, misunderstandings and assumptions. So, challenges here. Uh, what is the role of misunderstanding in human communication? So, a non native speaker might use a word because of looking it up in the dictionary, but in the real world, in the culture, this word has a totally negative connotation, and this is the wrong usage of the word. This is misunderstanding, even though information is available. Um, which assumptions do humans? to understand the text. The computer needs to make these assumptions. The computer needs to fill in the gaps. But which candidates are there to fill in the gaps in the text? And uh, this all goes together in a representation question. How can we represent the text and the gaps in the text? And how can we fill in the gaps? And assumption-based reasoning. And this is not only logical reasoning. This is also probabilistic. Expertise, again very broad, we need symbolic and probabilistic reasoning. Because many assumptions are based on experience. <coughs> if something is always done like this, we can assume that this time it's also done like this. The importance, um, one thing is if we want to understand, we must know about misunderstanding. And only machines that can fill in the gaps in language and the text correctly can interpret the text.